to three lenders in front of a glass cabinet. <laughs> Today we're going to be talking about when it makes sense to rent instead of buying. I get like everything on social media, like any TikTok I do, like if I do a TikTok that's like, hey, you should compare lenders so that you don't get totally ripped off and screwed. Someone's like, of course you say that. You're a lender and you want to sell me a house. And I'm like, who are you? Yeah. I, I, like, I, <laughs> like, there's this weird thing that since I'm a mortgage lender, all I want to do is for you to buy a house. And honestly, there's a lot of times that we talk to you guys and we're like, no, 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 no. This is the worst idea you mm -hmm. can make. Mm -hmm. And the reason, like, I don't know about you guys. I don't want someone calling me in five years being like, I, I can't get out. I hate you. Yeah. <laughs> like, or yeah. in a couple months. Uh, in a couple months. Like, mm -hmm. I moved here and I hate it. Yeah, because we get those calls and thank God we're not the lender on the front. Um, we had one though, but it wasn't our fault. It was like a cultural thing. Like they moved to a specific town and they didn't realize how the town was. Um, so anyways, here's the point. As mortgage lenders, Sure. If you want to get a mortgage, would we love your business? Yes. I'm licensed in 48 states. You'd be working with me, Alyssa, Sam. It's basically a party. Um, it really is, yeah. God, that's a lie, isn't it? Isn't it? It's a mortgage. It's not a party, guys. But we're, we're fun. We try. I mean, yeah. we do the best that we can. We yeah. do the best we can. Anyways, but do we want you to get a mortgage if it doesn't make sense? No. No, no. So we sat down at lunch because we have no life, so this is what we talk about, <laughs> um, and no shared interests. And we came up with eight good reasons why you should rent instead of buy. Okay? So I'm going to go over them, and then, you know, gals, chime in. A house will not save a marriage. No. Yeah. It'll probably make it worse. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So just as like sometimes when couples are trying to have a baby to save a marriage, we see couples where they're clearly at odds. It's going downhill. They're not even sure they like each other and they're trying to buy a house because they think that owning a house will change mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. Um, and then you get a roof leak or your drain backs <laughs> up. <laughs> Alyssa may be going through some things right now. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's not, um, it doesn't, it's not romantic. I, I would no. not describe home ownership as, unless you're like super freaking rich. Like if you're a billionaire, maybe it's romantic. Cause you don't have to deal with any of the unromantic I don't know. stuff. Billionaires, yeah. I, you know, the, the 20 yeah. to Where 30 are billionaires are you? Who, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> send money quick. Thanks. <laughs> Um, okay, so a house will not save a marriage. And and from a lender's point, whenever we hear people go, well, I'm not sure I want to be on the loan. Like, we might be breaking up. I'm, I'm always like, please stop right yeah. now. Yeah. You know, and then they'll call back. Well, no, we're back together. Oh, can you take me off again? Like, we had a fight. Like, if you guys are doing that yeah. where you're going on and off the loan app because you're having a fight, please rent. Sign okay? a lease. Sign a lease. <laughs> you know, see if you can fix your relationship before you get into bed on a house. Because a house, I would argue a house it's just like a kid it, it, it's it's a lot it talks to you <laughs> <laughs> at night I'm kidding okay uh, let's see here I'm gonna let you guys go crazy on this one <laughs> right, yeah you're gonna be like really moving in together for the first time buying a house instead of living together as renters before you buy a house why oh. is that a terrible idea ladies I mean, that's much more of a commitment than renting, right? Like, if you move in together and you're like, wow, I absolutely hate living with you, easier to break a lease than to divvy up a mortgage. Well, and, and living with home. anybody in general is yeah. it's challenging. Oh. It's so challenging. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to keep it a little nicer, but uh, yeah. And so if you've never done that, yeah. why just commit, you know, I mean, unless yeah. like all these... You know, are we back to the billionaires? No, where they don't have to fight for drawer space. Cause no, I'm going to like the 90 true, day yeah. fiance thing, like oh. where these people like just like meet each other and then they just get married and move in the same day. It, yeah. That's a little bizarre. But even that just, just how do those relationships run? work out? No idea. I don't think it's Probably a very high success rate. No. Yeah. As someone who has the statistics, please weigh in. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, look, if you guys are thinking of living together, that's a great step to make, but it's really hard to get out of a mortgage because sometimes mm -hmm. people are like, well, we broke up. Can you just take me off the mortgage? 
Uh, no, no, it's 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 like a legal instrument that says you're responsible for half this house And then it's like if you guys don't have equity like maybe you did a lower down payment You can't get out and so then it's like you're like we've had people where they're remarried to other people and They're still on the mortgage with this other person. Oh, yeah, I've yeah. seen that and their spouses hate it mm -hmm. And usually in the couples, there's always like one person holding on. Have you noticed that? Yeah usually. So it's just a disaster and it's like I don't know. Do you guys get mad when people ask you to give up drawer space? I just have a completely different closet so it's yeah, doesn't go there. <laughs> Bougie! The Alyssa edition. I just have my own closet. So, okay. No big deal. Mark keeps on trying to take drawer space. I cleaned my closet legitimately. I gave a bunch of stuff away. I put a bunch on thread up because I'm always trying to make that 36 cents. And he's like, oh, it's so great that you cleaned your closet. I have more room. And I'm like, hell no. Like, yeah. I did this for me. For me. For me. <laughs> so, yes, definitely we do suggest renting to make sure that you guys like each other because it can be like if someone's really clean and someone's really dirty yeah. or you might just find out that they're disgusting mm -hmm. yeah pretty there much. was um god there's this couple i heard about this is the craziest story you guys ready for this yes so this guy and gal move in together and thankfully they did not buy a house mm -hmm. they were renting um and the gal found out that when they lived together he never brushed his teeth so she started tracking oh, it. Oh my god. <laughs> she started that tracking it. That is like something. Well, <laughs> That's too much. <laughs> she started tracking it and she couldn't stay with him because she determined, like, she put out separate toothpaste, like, she monitored her toothpaste. She, like, marked it on the side. I'm not even kidding. Like, alcohol bottles when you're a kid, your parents mark them so you don't drink them. Same thing with the toothpaste to see if he ever brushed his teeth. She would, like, you know, check the. Nothing. They had to break up. Oh my. Uh, that is a deal. Yeah, that's a hard break pass. You, you yeah. don't. You just don't. Yeah. You, you just, would know. You yeah, can't how would you know? end up with smelly teeth. No. no. You, you can't no. have smelly teeth. No. Or what if they, like, throw floss on the floor? Ew. Yeah, that's gross too. Or like, no. people, At least they're flossing. Like, I can't handle it when people At least throw flossing. I mean, that's, that is, I mean, for smelly teeth, that would have been a, a huge environment. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. God, it's going to be so awkward if smelly tooth ever wants a house. I don't think I can deal with it. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on before I retch. Um, okay, so if you're nervous about job stability, mm. rent. Yeah. Mm hmm. It's a good one too. For you don't sure. want to be in a position where you're comfortable making a mortgage payment with your current job but if something happens like if you're yeah. hearing like oh there's gonna be layoffs or you know you're in an industry where you know that sometimes that happens mm -hmm. yeah or you're in sales and that you know your commission hasn't or you know you don't think it's gonna be projected to be as high or yeah definitely well, or if you're in a field where there is some tightening but there's other opportunities in other parts of the country so like if you're in a field like we see that with tech a lot yeah where you know they'll get moved to a totally different state so if the company is, you know, not doing great stock. I mean, stock prices, everything right now are brutal. Um, you know, that and you're worried about your job, I would say wait. Mm -hmm. I would say rent. Um, okay, let's see here. I can't read my handwriting. That's going to take a minute. What about um, moving to another state that you've never even been to? That's a great one. Yeah. That's a good one. I That one always baffles me because the concept of making such a huge yeah. investment but not paying for a plane ticket is crazy. Yeah. And sometimes people are like, well, I can't afford both. And I get that, but climates are so different across the United States and culture. People yeah. don't get the culture changes in different parts. Like there's some stuff that, you know, we say in California, I'm sure I offend people every day. Oh yeah. You're, I mean, that's myself. just you. That's just you, basically. I'm offending. <laughs> She's like, offended. Where's the buzzers? Um, but, you know, and we've seen that. We've seen people trying to buy houses in areas they've never been, and we're like, you really mm -hmm. need to go visit it. Yeah. Or what I like to tell people is even, you know, okay, A, visit, but then go to, like, the grocery store. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, go to Target. Oh, yep. Go, go yeah, yeah, all yeah. the places you're going to go every single yeah. day. You need to go see those places because that's going to be you. Like, do you want to be in that environment? Mm -hmm. Well, and if Target has more than 10 people in line and they're not opening another cashier, like, do you want to <laughs> live in a town like that? Like, think of the madness. Yeah. Think about the extra planning you're going to have to do. Yeah, your time or if they don't yeah. have the drive up because that's what I use all the time. You do Target drive up? Oh, that's all I do. 
ever. They even I, also added Returns and Starbucks to it. Oh my gosh. Which is absolutely amazing. My frugal queen's going to be bankrupt soon. <laughs> no, it's free. Yeah. I know. I just feel like it's risky. Like, you have to go no, in. Like, you've if you go, it. it'll it'll you if you go in, you're going to spend a million dollars. If I just go on the app <laughs> and buy, like, the f- one. If you buy one thing, you can do drive up. But how will I buy all the things that I give to Goodwill? <laughs> That's another story. <laughs> I, I buy them all, so please, yeah. please keep buying yeah, them. Yeah, I'm supporting you. Okay, <laughs> so let's see here. Um... If you're going through a divorce, uh, yeah, yeah, we see this one a lot, and so divorce is very traumatic. Um, these two youngins have not been divorced. I have. Oh my god, it is so traumatic. It's so traumatic, and we see that with clients as well because a lot of times, you know, what you thought, what you believed, it all gets crushed, um, and it can be a part of your life where you're desperately looking for stability. You just want stability at any cost. And a lot of times I'll hear, if I just get the kids a house, if I just get the kids a house, and it's like, Look, you need to get through the divorce because as a lender, we can't lend if you're actively going through a divorce and the money hasn't been divvied up. Mm -hmm. And the kids need a parent who just loves them and takes care of them. It doesn't matter if you're renting or if you own the house. The kids don't Mm -hmm. know about your mortgage payment. Mm -hmm. They don't give a shit about home equity. They don't care. I'm sorry, I cussed. But it's true because I hear it a lot with the kids, the kids. And it's like, you need to get your feet underneath you you need to, you know, be as stable as you can with your kids. Get the paperwork done so you know how much money you're going to have. Yeah. Then find then a home for the kids. Yeah. yeah. You know, because otherwise you're, you could end up, a, you could have a shady lender that's like, oh, we'll pretend you're not getting divorced. Don't worry about it. And then you qualify based off of all of this income, but then maybe you have to pay alimony or maybe you have to pay child support. Yeah. That goes for men and women. Women pay alimony too and child support. Uh, prenups, ladies, prenups. <laughs> we want a prenup. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sorry. Um, so if if you're going through a divorce, we definitely would say rent, figure out that, get emotionally stable before yeah. you make a decision. And you may be like, this is the best time of my life. I love my life. That's great. Just get through the 12 month euphoria. Cause either it's like 12 months of sadness or 12 months of feeling high, but there's always, there's always a change from what we've seen. Live, laugh, love. Hashtag live, laugh, love. Yes. Um, okay. <laughs> Let's see here. We also have, um, if you have huge income increases on the horizon, it is better to rent mm-hmm. than buy. Yeah. So, Sam, give us an example. So, if you know you're going to either be taking a fully new position or, like, you're a doctor um, and you're kind of getting out of residency and you know you're going to make a lot more money, just rent those couple months, wait till your income is what it's actually going to be, or yeah, a couple yeah. years, like whatever it might be, so that you're qualifying based on the range that you're actually looking in and what your income realistically will be. Yeah, and sometimes people are like, well, I really want a less expensive house, but what we see with doctors a lot is we'll see they try to qualify during residency. It's not what they want. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, They know they're going to make more money, so it's like, look, just take the pressure off of yourself yeah. and just let the money come and then get qualified for what you want. It's like when someone starts a new job, we can't use, in many cases, their overtime for two years, like if it's a new industry, right? And so people are like, well, I really want to get in a house, and it's like, okay, but overtime's 50% of your income, yeah. so if you can find a less expensive house that you like great but if you and sometimes they'll be like well it's just temporary and I think that's a huge mistake because depending on the cycle of the market we're in with housing it may not be temporary like I think you have to think about living in a house I mean you already want to sell your house that you bought last year is that correct <laughs> well it'll be my third house in like five years so yeah, yeah. Alyssa's a serial house hopper I'm a gypsy she's a gypsy at heart and and that could be another reason you've been very she's been a very blessed gypsy with I have her real estate purchases yeah. however um but I think as we head into the next five years it will be interesting to see I, I don't see how we can keep on having 30 percent equity gains a year across yeah. the country yeah. like that's that's not sustainable, you know, so really important before you guys think about buying, you know, renting is not a bad thing if it's, as long as it's not forever, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, if your whole plan is to rent forever, I would be worried about that because of inflation. (laughs) Well, with my second house, I sold it. I rented for a year because I wanted to make sure it made sense. I wanted to play the market and then well, I, also you were in a new job. Yeah. And I was in a new job. And so 
you know, it just, it made financial sense for me to do that. And then I was able to get my next house. So yeah, I mean, renting for, it was great. You know, it makes sense. Yeah. So, so, and that's another good reason to rent. If you're selling your house, you know, a lot of people are like, well, I have to find another house immediately. I'll buy anything. I just have to. And yeah. it's like, guys, take the pressure off. Yeah. You know? yeah. I, I shopped for 11 months and I got something, you know, that, that, you, I, that, that you love, love yeah. that you've had to do some repairs on. <laughs> yeah. I'm <laughs> you, learning you, to love it again. You've become a, well, is it almost done yet? Yeah, it okay, is. Okay. Yeah. So there were some roof leaks she wasn't uh, aware of because they, hid them from her. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> but it's fixed now. So yes, it can definitely make sense to rent <clears> instead <throat> of buying. You see a lot of mortgage advertisement where it says like renting, why pay your landlords? Look, sometimes it's better to pay a landlord because yeah. it gives you a chance to figure out what you need to do. And that's the most important part. Any parting words? Um, no, I think we covered a lot of good topics. We, we only covered yeah. half of them, but that's oh, okay. Interesting. Part two. Part two. <laughs> Part two. Yeah. Okay. Well, as always, guys, thank you for watching. Um, and yes, the glass cabinet, I know you're intrigued, as am I. I'm licensed in 48 states to do mortgages. These are ladies on the team. We're always happy to help you guys. Thanks.